go for some apartment shopping. Okay guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Hilda here. If you are new, if you are not new, welcome back. In this video, we are gonna throw it back to New York City in the winter. So I came here this winter time basically looking for an apartment. I'm gonna just go over all that I saw and give y'all some tips on what I learned while I was there. So my budget was around 2,500 to 2,900. I ended up having to actually increase it to 3,000, but that's okay because I was able to get the amenities and the location that I was looking for, which were like priority for me. That's actually a good segue. Let's get into my requirements and my nice to haves. For requirements, I was looking for a place that had a gym because I know myself. And if the place does not have a gym, I am not going to go to the gym after work. Like I'm gonna be lazy, I'm gonna make up an excuse as to why I don't wanna go. I also wanted to make sure that I was in a space that was not a pre-war building. That is just not my aesthetic. Like I see what y'all, the historical charm that people love about those buildings, but it's just not for me. Like washer and dryer in unit. I also wanted to make sure I was in a space that had natural light and I wanted to be close to the subway because work. So the first apartment we saw was in Clinton Hill, Brooklyn. Cute neighborhood with beautiful brownstones. The apartment was brand new. We would have been the first tenants living there. It was 411 square foot, so very small, going for $2,885 per month. I really liked the finishing in the kitchen, but the kitchen didn't come with the microwave installed, which I thought was annoying because counter space is already limited. It only had one closet, which is crazy, and the closet wasn't even all that big. <laughs> Wait, is the bathroom what? Yeah, it's gonna be the toilet. Right? Nicole's toilet. Oh, wow, I'm not used to living in that type of vibe. The shower was way too small. The shower was giving me hotel vibes and not the cute hotels. There was no separation between the shower and the floor in the bathroom. No, that's every day. You're always trying to like clean up the bathroom. So, you're gonna have to put the little things that you use for dogs. The lighting in the bathroom wasn't very bright and I hated the light fixture that they used. I just think for the price, the bathroom should have gave more. No in-unit washer and dryer, but washer and dryer in the building, which was okay. Not my preference, but the common space was just not it. It had a rooftop with nice views. Overall, not my favorite, if you couldn't already tell. Told you, best one. So the next apartment was in an amenities building. Y'all know I love black. Y'all know I love black. Yeah, but this bathroom there? I really love this apartment. It was giving off like very chic vibes to me. It was in a doorman building in downtown Brooklyn, so near tons of subway stations. It's in like an elevator building with all the amenities you can think of, but no in-unit washer and dryer. Like it was in the building, it was downstairs, but like I just don't want to share. That was kind of a con for me. Oh no, nah. they did not give me this tiny. This is, is this the only closet? Yeah. One more. Where? That's tiny too, so. This is the flooring. Yeah, flooring. yeah, I thought that too. Like, I feel like they could even went that brown that they have in yeah. the bathroom. They want a little cheap brown. Mm -hmm. But the bathroom is where they literally went in with the bathroom. I like how they put the shelving on the, yeah, so you don't have to, yeah, yeah. Oh, they have the black handle hardware. That's what I love. Yes, the tub is right here. You know, the water is pretty good pressure. Sorry, you're the tour guy? Since you don't have one. Oh, okay. But no microwave. No microwave. Oh. Sorry. So you have to buy one? Where's it going to sit? It's right here. And then you have no counter space. Oh, then your counter space is right there. Mm hmm. Where? You can put your cereals up here. Yeah, I wonder what you put up there. Yeah, your cereals. And here is going to be your dishwasher. It's very small, but it's still. Yeah, for one person, it's fine. So, yeah. I feel like the cabinet is going to get dirty quickly. This is where you put your bed. You put your bed here. This is like wider than the other place. So you even have a. <laughs> right when you come in the room, you're in the entire house. I'll do a full. A full. There, you know, New York is so reckless and stuff like this. Like, where is the net? There's no net? It's just 
Literally, just, you want, if you want to jump, they just give you the option. You can yeah. see if people want to do it. Ben, if you ever want to have a party out here, yeah, they're like, don't jump. Yeah. So this next one was also in downtown Brooklyn. It was going for $3,083 a month with no concessions. The bathroom was nice. I liked how all the walls were like tiles. I thought that was cute. And the bathroom mirror being very big. I love that as well. I just did not like how the bathtub was like dirty. Like I just feel like it's all about presentation and that just kind of threw me off. It came with the in-unit washer and dryer the kitchen it wasn't as modern looking as i'd like i mean overall the apartment was like a more older building than what we had visited initially and the leasing office manager was given stank the whole time so i just knew i was not gonna go with this apartment switching barrels now we are now in queens more specifically long island city I really want to check out this area because I know there's so many new luxury buildings that are being built in this area. It's also right on the waterfront directly across from Manhattan, so the commute into the city wouldn't be too bad. The apartments in LIC were a lot more spacious. This apartment also had the best waterfront views and was 511 square foot. It was going for a competitive net price of $2,930 a month with concessions. Look at those views, bro. I was obsessed. The kitchen had a lot of counter space for cooking and was sectioned off from the living space, which was actually one of my need to haves in a studio. Also the bathroom, an all white bathroom. I love all white bathrooms. Those are my jam. The bathroom light was doing its big one. There was some cabinet space. Um, it definitely, you can feel the old so there was two closets. There was like a smaller one, which could fit like your linen and towels. And then there was a bigger one that had like built-in shelving. I think it was pretty decent because for New York City, it's actually really hard to get closet space. They showed us a second floor plan in this building that was also a studio. This one was a lot bigger. I don't recall the price of this unit though. I believe it was around 3,000 to 3,300. The views were not all that spectacular though. You'd be looking directly at another building. So this unit was actually considered their alcove studio. So there was a little den area where you could make it into like your own little space away from the living area. But I just wasn't sure what I put in this space because it's right next to the doorway. So I just thought it was just awkwardly placed. And this last apartment they showed us was going for $3,375 a month with a one month free concession. This building was actually a newer build. So the finishes were actually a lot more updated. And moving on to Greenpoint, Brooklyn. Ooh, I was so excited for this neighborhood. I wanted to have a waterfront view, be right next to the waters. I had a whole vision for myself where I'm like, I'd wake up and see that view and just know it's gonna be a good day every day. So this apartment was so beautiful. The studios in this building were starting at $3,098. It had one of those kitchens where the fridge and the microwave are like hidden in the cabinets. So bougie, I love it. The apartment got a lot of natural light, so it just felt very airy and open in this unit. The bathroom had like a long mirror and each section opened up to more storage space. Yeah, the tiling, the white tiles, like everything just looked very clean. I wasn't a fan of the tile pattern though behind the cabinet sink and the toilet. Um, it just wasn't giving and I thought that the sink cabinet itself gave off very masculine vibes to me. It did have an in-unit washer and dryer. I really like this apartment though overall definitely a top contender the only drawback was that there was only one closet and it wasn't even that big i just feel like storage is so important that i had to let this apartment go and the last building oh child thank goodness when i'm actually tired of talking <laughs> but this building was also in greenpoint brooklyn it was very new they were still actually constructing the building as we were touring and i think they had like three more months until it'd be fully built and everything is good to go I actually really like this space for the price because it was a new apartment. They were giving out so many concessions. I think you could get up to like three months free. So this was a really good option for me and I was really considering this apartment. Very nice finishing for everything. The bathroom was so tough. Like I like how clean it looked. Very low tub though. The toughest bathroom yet. Yeah. I can't remember if there was one or two closets in that space. I ended up not going with that space, so I'm not really remembering correctly. One thing I didn't like though about this space was the fact that the kitchen and the living area shared the same space. Like I just feel like I would be living in a literal shoebox. So I asked to see another layout and this is their other layout where it's more of an alcove where the 
kitchen area is sectioned away from the living space. I was very much so considering this apartment just because it was so affordable. Well, I think the only drawback to being in Greenpoint would be the lack of transportation. There's only one train line that comes to Greenpoint. So that was heavy on my mind as I was considering these apartments. So in the end, I actually didn't end up choosing any of these apartments at all. I left and was just looking online while at home in Virginia and saw an apartment that I was like, ooh, online. I thought it was a good apartment to go look at because I was like, ooh, I think this one might be it. And I went loved it and that's the apartment i'm currently in so if you are interested in seeing this apartment and seeing the move-in process don't forget to like comment subscribe and stay tuned for the next video see y'all